Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm currently in Arizona, where I am delighted to be joined by Jorge Balestra, Global Head of Machine Learning Operations in Platforms at Kraft Heinz. Such a pleasure to be with you today, Jorge. Thank you very much for having me. Kraft Heinz is in a unique position, given that you're at the intersection of supply chain management and consumer goods. What's the data showing you? Well, it's showing us, as, as always, there's lots of changes happening right now. Our consumers keep changing, evolving, trying new things, while at the same time, the way they are buying keeps changing and evolving. Uh, the search of e-commerce, uh, the search of new players in the retail space, consolidation among others, mergers. So I would like to say it's business as usual in the CPG industry, which is everything changes and changes really, really fast. I love that business as usual. And speaking of current events, supply chain has been a hot topic for the past few years. How does having a well-rounded data strategy allow the team to stay one step ahead of the competition, Jorge? Well, uh, data is, I will call it, our biggest raw material to make decisions. And in the supply chain space, the faster you can make decisions, the better you can serve your customers. I like to say that we always like to have the right product at the right price in the right location. The last piece about location is all about what your consumers require, hence what our customers are going to be ordering from you, hence what is, how to distribute that product and what to manufacture. So all of that is, uh, I would call it, needs to be a well choreographed dance in which what you need is have that rhythm and the rhythm is the data. And lately is not only the data, it's also the models that help you really respond and make decisions fast. I love that, the, the rhythm in the dance, sticking with current events. The other hot topic is Gen AI and it's top of mind for most executives across the board. How do you see this technology impacting Kraft's operational approach for the years to come? Well, I think more and more we are using AI and in particular Gen AI, Gen AI to help all of our organization from analysts to executives understand better the trends of the data, understand what the data is telling them and making decisions. To give you an example, just a few days uh, ago, we are enabling like a chatbot experience, but for supply chain folks to understand trends, understand what are the variations that's happening and having a dialogue more like in an English language to help them uncover those insights without having to go to like multiple dashboards and asking a bunch of people. So we are enabling that type of interaction with our own supply chain data. And I'm very excited to see that Maybe it's just the first iteration of many, and we're going to be doing that across the board, always in, in the mission about, hey, we are a consumer goods company. We want you to find your ketchup, to find your cheese, to find what you want at the store at the right price. So all of these are tools that are helping us fulfill that mission better. In the end, we want people to be delighted by the food we are uh, offering them. Thank you for that perspective. All right, an exciting next chapter. Now I want to pivot and dive into the data cloud. How does its ease of use allow the team to maximize impact for your customers around the world? Well, in reality, the first thing you need to do is have a solid data foundation. Having, having your data organized, having all your data that you know where that is and accessible for people. And also without the restrictions that some of the older technologies used to bring in which if I needed to expand, it would take months for me to put a server. Now that's no longer a problem, you know? Basically, everything that the data cloud comes in is flexibility and, and speed to react. Now it's all up to us to now to harness our data, organize our data, and make sure that it's available. We are having really to worry about the details and, 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 and the, the CPUs and the megabytes. It just works. It just works. And it works in a way that is easy even for end users to interact with. So now we can go into the business about help us organize our data and what are we going to do with it? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to serve our, con our consumers. Our consumers, what they want is our products and we want to serve them. Great to hear, Jorge. I realize we've covered a lot, but from your perspective, as you look out on the coming months, what's your primary focus? My, I think my primary focus is two things. One is there's always the need for data, getting the right data, the right organization. So that's going to be the never ending journey. When you never, you never will be done with it. And once you think you're constantly evolving, it, it's constantly evolving. You it constantly need to make sure your data is clean, et cetera. That's one thing that we should never 
lose sight of. And the other one is there's a lot of possibilities now in terms of how to augment our decision power via models, via Gen AI, and whatever comes next. I mean, if there's one thing that I've learned the last few months, because it's so fast it is, that this is evolving so quickly at a speed that I, I can just comprehend. So we need to be ready for what is happening right now, whatever is coming next. Thank you, Horace. Such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Before we wrap, is there any any advice you'd like to leave with the audience here today? I think the, my, my advice will be that understand very well what is the mission of your business. Think through what you need to accomplish that vision. Get that going in terms of, for example, building a strong data foundation. And then make sure that you find the right ecosystem around that that allows you to focus on your core mission without having to worry on things that you shouldn't be worried about, like the old world about storage and servers. How you know that, that that's gone? There's various ways of doing that, and there is there is definitely an ecosystem that really enables you to focus on whatever you need to focus on that is a core of your business. I really enjoyed our time together. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much for inviting me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.